Yo, what's up, Grims? How are we doing? Yo, Brian, Richard, Thomas, Scoopy, what's up? We're almost ready. <laughs> we're here and we're ready so for today's build we've got an amd 7800x 3d the first one we've built with pairing that up with a 7900x tx a uh, good x670 tomahawk wi-fi motherboard from msi thousand watt power supply lots and lots of deep cool fans oh shoot i'm not recording we're gonna restart this again so just pretend you didn't hear it the first time okay 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 okay, okay. all right so for today's build, we've got the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. We've got the 7900XTX to pair with it, a X670E motherboard, 1000 watt power supply, tons of deep cool FC120 fans, and a deep cool 720 LS720 uh, CPU cooler, 32 gigs of RAM. This is CL30 6000, and... Um, there will be an SSD in there too. See, I told you there would be an SSD in there. Far out with the five gifted subs. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much. And we're putting it all in a custom painted case. That's right. It was arts and crafts hour for Redneck last weekend. I painted a case. Well, some of a case. I, it looks pretty good. We'll see. We'll see what you guys think. I need to turn on one more light back there, and then we'll start. Far out. Thank you so much. Stand by, Chad. He's throwing on his pants. That's right. Richard, you can't tell them all my secrets, man. <laughs> How do you know I haven't been wearing pants all day? Hmm? Hmm? How do you know? Dude, thank you so much. Gloom Warrior came in with one of those subs. Let's go. Gloom's a, a longtime friend of ours in the streaming community here. All right. Let's fans out of the way. Don't need them yet. Uh, one other thing. There's one component that hasn't showed up yet because I... Oh, I failed to order it in time. So... The, we have replacement cables for the um, the power, but we're going to build it with the standard cables for now, and then when they show up later tonight, we'll swap them out. So just pretend that it's this is what we, it's going to end up with, but it's going to look even better, all right? Just got done with work, ready to make some dinner and watch some PC building. Let's go. That one. That's the scene we want, I think. I think. All right, let's get this MSI Mag X670E out of here. 
got a couple of things to throw down there. How's everybody doing today? I need one of those. I don't think we need four of them. Too excited if we could, if only we could get you to build it in a suit. Um, I don't even think I have a suit at the moment. My nice wedding suit, the pants got like a, I don't know if like moths ate a hole in the pant leg or something, but yeah, they don't, they're not really good anymore. So I'm not sure I really have a full suit right now. Yo, what's up, Eric? How we doing? Noble coming in, Charlie Gordon, Matthew John. How we doing? Sorry, I, I was a little, little delinquent in seeing, seeing the chat on Facebook, but we're paying attention now. Don't worry, don't worry. You're not being ignored. Got done with trap a couple hours ago. Oh, how's it feeling, Richard? How's it feeling? All right, let's get uh, let's get started here with the, the CPU. Get that installed. My pocket knife is not in my pocket. So just everybody time out. Time out. I said time out. Just give me one second, all right? Put on my shorts this afternoon instead of the pants I was wearing this morning because I wanted to go on a walk and it's a little toasty outside. I forgot to transfer my knife over to my shorts. All right. I'm not taking a poop break, Thomas. That won't happen for at least another 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Relax. Yeah, maybe, maybe Amazon will show up in the next, like, 10 minutes and I won't need to install power cables twice, but that's okay. If they don't, they don't. Alright, 7800X 3D getting installed in hopefully the right orientation. There we go. Moment of truth. It's in! That was grueling. All right, SSD time. Got a Mushkin Vortex, one terabyte. This pushes like 7,000 read, 5,300 write, um, Gen 4 SSD, and a very good price to performance. I was gonna say something about value, um, but I couldn't think of the phrase that I wanted to say, so. Price to performance, we'll stick with Old Faithful. Got my LTTstore.com screwdriver. Close to 300 FPS. Oh my gosh. Making me jealous over there. I don't even, I don't get anywhere near that with my setup. But then again, I'm running an Intel CPU. <laughs> Just kidding, it's fine if you like Intel. Fine. Come on. Don't do this to me. You can fit. Why do these MSI boards just not... They're just not designed for the right length. I have to, I have to take out this toolless... This toolless little guy here. Stand off. Because I can't get my SSD in. With it in. Super cool. Super cool. Hold on. This is really unfortunate. Here we go. I think we got it there. Is anyone else sweating? Um, I was about to be sweating, but now 
The AC has kicked on in here, so I'm no longer sweating. So, here we go. Ta -da. It's not. It's not really toolless when I have to use a tool to get it to fit properly. MSI. Jeez. Bunch of amateurs over there. Okay, Red, do I need to direct message you for PC stuffs? Um, what do you mean PC stuffs? Like you have PC questions, you want to buy a PC, what are you what are we talking about here, Charlie? What are we talking about? Yo, what's up, AD? Usually how my last hour goes, I just go. <laughs> um, I definitely missed something up there. Procrastinating my last hour work, just how she got dude, sometimes it's just how it goes, man. You're just watching the clock, you might as well just you might as well just leave at that point. If you're able to, if you're not really able to leave, like there's, you know, not really much you can do there, but. So nothing against this other PC builder, but was watching them earlier and got boned while they were building a PC, so I tuned out. Oh, got bored while they were building a PC, so I tuned out. Well, it's never boring here. Because um, I like to drop stuff. I like to, like, look like I'm going to break things. Um... It's really just all for your guys' entertainment. There's really... I wouldn't be doing it if you guys weren't watching. Red just told everybody to leave work. Just say, I'm... You know? Tell your boss. Yeah, yeah. Just tell your boss I said it's okay. Like, hey, boss, I... Like, I... I, I gotta go learn. I gotta do some off-the-job training with Redneck. Right? That's what you gotta do. Got boned. That's what I thought it said at first. I read it wrong. Alright. We didn't get the click on this side, but I, the clasp is closed, so we're good. Alright. Time for this. Uh, I believe we can put the back plate on now for the CPU cooler, so we're going to get it out. Hopefully he wasn't getting boned. I mean, that'd be very um, impressive if that's what was happening while watching a stream. Like, someone was able to do that with their stream. Impressive, honestly. But, yeah, I don't think that's what was happening. Intel is gross, Satan. So, I was just kidding. I do prefer AMD. Like, I'll, I'll be honest with that. I prefer AMD. There's nothing wrong with Intel. I just... I don't like them as much. I don't know. And with with that, I'm I'm saying that as someone who is currently using not one but two Intel CPUs in their setup, um, I went with the 12700K in my streaming PC because it has a lot of cores uh, for the stream, and I had it on hand already. In my gaming PC, the 12000 series for Intel was just coming out, and it was the newest best thing, and so that's what I went with. Uh, the 5800X 3D wasn't out yet at that point, so the 12700K price to performance was really good. That's why I ended up becoming an early adopter of the LGA 1700 for um, my gaming PC. But looking back now, I kind of wish I had gone AMD for my gaming PC because I could slop in, swap in, slop in. I could swap in a 5800X 3D on a you know X570 motherboard and my setup would be getting so much better FPS. I don't know why I pulled out the Intel backplate. Don't ask me questions like that, okay? Don't ask me questions like that. I'm sick to death of my slow Asus PC. Well, Charlie, you know how to find me. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a new build, then, yeah, either shoot me a DM or just go to the website and redneckengineer.com and fill out the custom build form. That's probably the fastest way to get it done. My job is super flexible. I go in when I want and leave when I want. I'm hourly, so they don't care. Really? My, I mean, my job doesn't really know when I'm in or out, for the most part. Like, 
because I work from home all the time. It's, you know, I'm just, I just get my stuff done. I, you know, attend meetings and whether I'm in the office or not, they don't really know, but, you know, more often than not, I'm either in the office or I'm on call. Like, I get messages and stuff and all throughout, like, the day and the evening, on the weekends. So, you know, it kind of balances out. Yeah, yeah. Redneckengineer.com, that's going to be the best way. It'll, you know, give you some boundaries for, like, things that you want in the build and kind of help start that discussion for us. Will my Samsung SSD be compatible for this build? It's an 870 EVO. Uh, is it a safe? I mean, yes. Yes, either way. Um, if it's currently your boot drive, you need to remove all of the like Windows stuff on it. Or, yeah. We'll have to talk about that. I don't know the, the best way to do that, but yeah, essentially... You're gonna have to remove any any boot stuff from it because you want this one to be your boot priority. Okay, so it is time to get our custom case out. So, in case you can't tell, in case in case you can't tell. This has some custom paint work done. So everything up front that you see that's red, that is all custom paint done by yours truly. The rear IO bracket cover things painted red, custom done by me. And best of all, we're gonna we're gonna look at the top down camera for this one. Best of all, this super cool red power button. Pretty sick. Pretty sick, right? Looks clean, thank you. I spent um, a lot of time on it and my wife says that next time I need to charge for it. I didn't really know how good of a job I would do and so I didn't want to charge extra money for it in this build. I also like, um, kind of just wanted to do it for the video, do it for the Vine kind of thing. But now that I've done it and I know like what to do better next time and whatever, um, we're going to charge extra money for it because it was a lot of time. <laughs> it was a lot of time and effort. You're welcome, Thomas. Yo, what's up, Steve-O? The simulator looks amazing. I know, right? Isn't that amazing? So good. Why are there just loose freaking things inside of this bag? Okay. Pink. Probably going to use these guys for the motherboard. So we'll pull those out. How you doing, Steve-O? It's good to see you. Oh, there's two different types of bolts in there? Okay. All right, that seems to be the right size. Oh, interesting. It didn't come with that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is not set up for an ATX motherboard out of the box. I love it. I love it. All right. So we're missing these two standoffs here and the top corner one for ATX. Set that down for a sec. They very kindly provided those for us, but um, they didn't install them for us. Cool. Get our little iFixit screwdriver here. Get these standoffs in. Ooh, that's cross-threaded. It's cross-threaded for sure. There we go. Is that not cross-threaded? Is it just not very good threads? Okay. Yo, what's up, Bridgeburg? How we doing? I was going to build a second PC, but watching you and videos online, I talked myself out of it. Well, maybe you should just have me build it for you, Panda. How you doing, Bridge? Good to see you in here. You're good, broski. Are you? I'm doing good, Stevo. Kind of a crappy day at work, but you know, 
I stuck through it. Made it out alive. Going back to stream- Don't go back to Streamlabs, it's crap! Don't do it. So- OBS is so much better. Why- Why don't you like- Why don't you like OBS? What's going on? How's the build? Uh, good. So, this is all, like, kind of custom stuff, too. Like, I did my own custom paintwork on this. We're gonna have, uh, custom cables if they'll show up at some point today. So, uh, we'll, you know, we'll swap those out for the, the ones that come with the power supply. Um, it's got probably, arguably, the best CPU for gaming on the market. The uh, Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Definitely price to performance the best. Um, gonna have lots of fans. It's gonna be real pretty. And we gotta hurry up and build it because we told Rytek we would be on at 5. Which is not gonna happen, but hopefully we won't be too far off of that. Slobs is poop, that's right. Go tell Sivo that. Don't let him switch back. Saving up and figuring out whether to do a new build or update. OBS is the way Streamlabs is messing my PC up. Yeah, Streamlabs is like a, a CPU hog, man. He uses up so much of your CPU. Uh, you're lurking while in a meeting? Hey, let's up. Let's go, Stogs. Love to hear that. Uh, it outs all my mini feed into one place. Oh. Uh, go watch Average Dad's video. I think he might have he might have come up with a way to do it all from a single feed for chat. Take a look, man. Average Dad just put out like a 30 minute video. Uh, after building one PC, you become addicted. Next thing you know, you will have five PCs laying around like a play war zone. It does tend to be like that. The reason why I started this business, Grims, and it wasn't to make a bunch of money. It was because I really enjoy building PCs, and this would keep me from upgrading my PC constantly. So, mission accomplished. It took me two and a half years to really upgrade my my stream PC, then my gaming PC I've had for over a year and haven't touched it. Uh, if you think the one SSD is more than enough, I could just always leave. Yeah, for sure. Um, or if you want to add, if you want to add uh, another terabyte of storage, we can. Um, just let me know before I ship it out. Okay. Motherboard is installed. I think. Let's get our front panel stuff connected. Alright, we got HD audio and USB. I don't know what the USB is going to connect to, but. In there. What the heck? What the heck? Here's our USB right there. HD audio over there. Okay. All right, see power switch. Here are LEDs. Now let's pull this panel thing off the back here. I'm scared I'd mess something up and then chalk money. That's fair. I definitely felt that way with my first PC. Question! I have the HP Omen gaming laptop. I've upgraded my RAM so far to 24 gigs. What else can I do to increase and upgrade my experience? Um, I think the only other thing you can really do is if it's running a uh, like hard drive or something, you could swap that out. Um, for a SSD most likely. Some of them don't have support for that, but 
It's possible you do. No one? And will this come out? Okay. Put these both back into this plate so that we don't lose them or forget where they go. Yo, what's up, Right Tech? Isn't that awesome? It's custom painted, man. All the red stuff that you see on there, so like you'll see um, this red button I painted myself, all the red up front I painted myself, and then these uh, IO brackets I painted myself as well. So it wasn't this cool when it showed up. I made it. I made it cool. Yeah. Right tech up to level two now. Okay, let's put in our USB 3. Uh, that is down low, or over here. We can do it over there. Like that. Okay, USB 3 is in. Okay. And we just have... Power switch, power LED, and HDD LED. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. I think we're gonna bring those in from over here. All right, there's our power LEDs. Next, our HDD LEDs. I might just turn on the vacuum for a second. And I think she's listening to see if she can hear it on her on the stream. And then power switch. Okay, got all those installed. Pull them tight in there. Alright. That is all good. Is it me or is that case huge? Um it's pretty big pretty big. I would say it might be a little bit smaller than like an 011 dynamic, but not much. Not much. All right, I think now we'll get the bottom fans, these fans, the side fans all installed, and then we'll put in the top fan, aka the CPU cooler. Uh, about time to upgrade for me. My PC crashed twice today trying to make a simple video. Oh, shoot, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, hit me up. Hit me up, Right Tech. Let's, or I mean, we can talk about it on stream, but, um, let's, let's talk about what we can do, man. Let's figure it out. Planet Panda coming in with a five gifted subs, dude. Thank you so much. Um, I can't game and stream for my PC using Streamlabs. Yeah, yeah. I, it's because Streamlabs uses a ton more, um, of your, of your, uh, CPU. Streaming Labs is a hog. Case looks familiar. It does. I've never built in this case, but it's very similar to um, some other cases. All right, so I think what we're gonna do here is these are all gonna face up like this. And you guys can't really see what we're doing here. Um, so all these are gonna face up like this. And then we go this way. We're gonna go this way. Warranty void if removed. I'm not gonna leave that on there. This this giant tag it says warranty void if removed. I'm sorry, but no, we're not leaving that on there. Oh, Cupcake got one of the uh, subs. That's awesome. Planet Panda. Took forever to render anything. Red, read up, miss my comment. Uh, that's just you. My current one is way bigger. That's what she said? 
Go ahead and add the second SSD and send me the invoice. Got it. That one. That's the one I missed. You got it, dude. We'll add it in a second here. Okay. So. This guy attaches the end of this. Then this just needs SATA, a port to the CPU, or to the C like a, G a fan port, and then RGB. Then we've got this in case we need to make this a little bit longer. Um, I don't think we do. But what if what if we connect this guy to the ones that go up on the side, and then they all run together? That seems like a great idea. Good job, Marit. Good thinking. Alright. I patted myself on the back. Somebody's got to. First time for me, hoping it was just my editing software. Yeah, hopefully it is. Uh, I've been having my issues with my PC crashing lately. No! Yo, what's up, Gummy? How we doing? You lost <laughs> I'm just a weirdo, man. I don't know what you mean. Alright. Got all those fans roughly in place. Stick that through there. I get it out of the way. Then we're gonna have to put this on its side again. We'll get these fans installed and then we can install that second SSD. Just watching your guru. Sheesh. Um, by the way, in case you can't tell, Right Tech, based on where we are so far in the build, probably gonna be a little later than what I originally told you. Story of my life here. Um, it's the same one you- wait, Dr. Beamer, is this really the same one you have? The SK Skying uh, one? Sweaty Lobo, what's up? What are we doing? Alright. I didn't realize you had this one. See you then. Don't worry though, we're gonna start blazing through this. Hello with the rest of your build, Red. No worries. See you then. All right, dude. Sounds good. Yeah, if you just want to, like, sit and chill in my Discord, then uh, I'll hop in as soon as I can. Vape Happy coming in with a one month sub. Thank you so much. You guys are going crazy today. 11 new subs today. Absolutely nutty. I think that means we've broken 200 total subs for this month. I got the all black one. Gotcha. So this one is the all black one. Um, all that paintwork, all the red paintwork is custom. So that front paint, this red paint back here, the red power button, uh, I even painted the top filter. All of that is custom paintwork by yours truly. So this really is the exact same one that you have. 
I just uh, did some custom work on it. Uh, I'm gonna be hearing about this PC for months, man. Thomas, I can't wait to play Warzone when you get this bad boy. Yeah, dude. He's gonna try and make you buy one, isn't he? trying yeah buddy Just tell tell him how it is yeah 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 so yeah i had to do a bit a bunch of time like taping it all up and stuff so that i could uh so i could paint it red like i was telling thomas earlier i was like i did it for free this time like no extra cost, just just to like kind of show and see if I could do it. Um, and from now on, it's gonna cost money <laughs> because it took a lot of time. Okay, bottom fans installed. Shut up, Adam. I keep watching the streams, man. Gonna make me go into debt. Well, this is the only form of marketing I do, so I'm glad it's working. Alright, let's get the second SSD in here for him. Dave Happy, I appreciate you, man. Ooh. I smell food cooking right now. I don't know what my wife's making, but it smells delicious right now. Dr. Beer, didn't you do a bunch of like custom stuff on your um, PC too? How's the giveaway working? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, the draw will not happen uh, until after the build. So we're going to do the build on Friday. Hopefully I can finish it on stream without dying from um, the heat. Wait, I don't think I need that do. Um, and the plan is I will tally all of the giveaway entries uh, after the stream sometime that night and then we'll do the giveaway live on stream like the next day or on Sunday Because yeah, there's it, it I, I am giving people till the end of like the stream on Friday to enter and so like trying to like tally all that stuff up while on stream is just gonna take way too long That is installed. <clears throat> I would like to participate because I'm looking for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it's going to work. Alright, so we've got that installed. Let's get our front fans installed now. And then we'll put the rear fan on. And uh, that should be about it. I think the rear fan will probably tie in with the top fans. So that way you don't uh, have an extra SATA cable and stuff laying around.
Number one fan. All right, so this one's on the bottom. This one will be next. So this one's gonna plug into that one. One's gonna plug into this one. Yo, what's up, Trap? How we doing, man? This one's getting a full optimization, right? Uh, I don't think so. I don't remember. I think he said he wanted to wait on it. Question is, how are we gonna get these in here? Without falling down. Yeah. Like that. That's how we're gonna do it. Boom. Uh, except for I need to put the cable into the bottom one first. So I'm never gonna be able to get in there. That's gonna work. Oh, did this go into the other one? Oh shoot, I did these all backwards. Okay. Now this is gonna plug in here. He's under literal shock. Took it. Okay. Got that out of there. So this is going there. I need this guy. Oh yeah, he he was in stream on kick and he just said you'd finished it. That he was getting like 300 FPS or something crazy. All right. Wait. What? Why am I so confused? Okay. Do I have to do these all separately? Can I not put these together like this? Or this would have to go into here. I can't. Can't actually do that separately. Okay, so we'll do that. This needs to get plugged in there. Gonna make you some stock versus two next 3D videos tonight? Ooh. I think I should take this one fan out so I can try and put this in. I can't see it. Here it. Oh, I'm sure it makes a huge difference. Also, people have been having trouble viewing that PDF you sent me. I think it's because it's like 200 something megabytes. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to make a PDF such a large file like that, but... Um... Yeah. I don't think it's working properly because it is such a huge file. Like, when I try and do it, like, via email and upload it to Google, it, like, does not work properly. <laughs> Alright. Stuff that there. Like so. Just trying to get those out of the way. It's with the 7900X 3D and a 4080. 
Ooh. Yo, what's up, Shane? How we doing? those in there. Now we can bolt these three in on the side panel. Yeah, it's like a 200 megabyte PDF. I don't know what the issue is. I've just been telling people to download it so they can try and view it, but yeah, it tries to open up. It doesn't even, like, Google tries to open it up with, like, Microsoft Word or something, or with Word or something instead of, um, or whatever program it should be using. I think we gotta do these like that. Can't wait to see what this thing benchmarks at. Yes, sir. We won't be doing like the full benchmarking. Like I'm not gonna do like Warzone and stuff ahead of time because it takes forever to download and stuff. But we'll uh, we'll do Cinebench and we'll do like a GPU test and stuff. And then you'll have to you'll have to show us how good the the war zone F FPS looks. Number one fan. Boop, boop. It's all in there. We'll get the last one installed. Already feeling a cold come on for the day this PC delivers. <laughs> Get the black lung pop. Number one fans.
Yeah, you gotta call in sick for this one, Thomas. You got to. Alright. All those fans are installed. What? What's up, Alan? Alright, let's get our rear fan installed now. Okay. I think what we can do, put this here, then we'll connect it into the CPU uh, cooler fan up on top. Uh, oh, can we do that? We plug it into that one on top, then the, the one that comes out of the CPU cooler block would need to go here. I think it might just be simpler to use this. I think we're better off just doing that. It's going to be easier to do it this way. Um, and we can still daisy chain the RGB. We'll just need to connect this guy into one of the fan headers. I think we are going to need this extension for that. Chillin' bro, chillin'. What you doing over there? Alright. Don't bring the rock into this primal. What does he know? Got PTO too, so we can use it. Hey, let's go. Geology? Geology? What are we talking about? Oh, the rock. No, Primal put in a Primal Primal put in a, a, a gyp of a of the rock, man. Judging me for skipping work to play games. Well, fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Unless he's your boss, then maybe you should worry about it. Alright, we're gonna plug that into a system fan header right there. How many RGB ports does this thing have? Like two. Got two RGB ports. So, I bring these two things together. Use up one RGB port for the two of them. Just wish I could. <laughs> 
I mean, I can take FTO if I want, but... I don't know that I'm going to use it for gaming. Not unless we decide to do another subathon, then maybe I will. Then maybe I'll use it for gaming. Alright. There's those. Bring those out the front. All right, got those plugged in. Let's plug in this system fan header. Have to go over there for it. There's not a lot of space for stuff to go through here. It's just so low that having this back fan installed doesn't let anything go through. Alright, so we'll take this bottom fan out here because I literally can't stick anything through there at the moment. Should be the only thing we need to put through down here, so once we get this through, we'll be good. Uh, what motherboard? Have you heard about the 7800X 3D burning up on ASUS boards? Uh, I have not heard that. Uh, this is an MSI, though. So, should be good there. I think, from what I heard from Trap, the issues, those issues were related to um, not having the new and newest BIOS that came out the other day. So even if we had an ASUS board, I think we would still be fine. Let's back up this way. Pull some stuff tight through there. Please. Out of the way. Noble coming in with a five gifted subs. Sheesh. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I guess a bug in the BIOS. Yeah, yeah. So um, they just released, like Asus just released new BIOS on like 412 or something like that. Um... So I think that should be solved now. Uh, Asus has the new BIOS uh, for their AM5 platform. Yeah, yeah. They released a new one pretty recently. Okay. All right. That's looking much better. Alright, fans are spinning freely, that's great. 
What we have unplugged back here are a couple of SATA power and that Molex power for the front RGB. I think. Good to go here. Wonder. I don't see anything for my Amazon cart yet. All right. Scoot that out of the way. Get this out here. All right. So. The ideal direction is to put it this way so that you can see the deep cool symbol. But, I don't think it's gonna fit that way. It also might not be this way. Okay, it's gonna fit that way, but only just. So. Sure, it actually fits this way. I'm hitting over here. But it's gonna fit. Okay. I think even the fans are gonna fit just fine. Seems like there's plenty of room. It's just width, width-wise, this direction is very tight. So. I think we're gonna we're gonna have to put it this way because there's just not room for these tubes or they would hit this fan. Um, but we're gonna have to put those power cables in for the CPU first. Now that we've got new power cables coming. Uh, you're never actually going to see the ones for the CPU, so it doesn't really matter if those ones don't get used. Like they're literally completely hidden. It's not a big deal. I didn't know they had an update. Uh, they update the BIOS. They update their BIOS every, like, couple months, usually. You don't need to update yours if you are having issues necessarily, but uh, ASUS will put out updates pretty consistently. What do we need out of here? Well, it's SATA powers. This has three SATA powers. Uh, we need all three of those. That's good. We need this Molex power. Gonna need CPU, VGA, VGA, motherboard, VGA, CPU. Um, yeah, there's another single VGA. All right, Got all that stuff out of there. Get our actual power supply out. Yeah, updating BIOS is usually a good thing to do. Um, pretty low low risk these days of ruining your your computer when you update your BIOS, just because the nature of our power is so clean these days. A little a little bit easier to do. Have that peace of mind that it's not gonna break something but you know there is always that possibility that it could break something <clears throat> he's on an old fourth gen intel processor bro let's get that thing updated tomorrow maybe not tomorrow but like soon soon um you guys didn't tell me you've been looking at top down this whole time
have you all not been yelling at me that we've been looking at the wrong camera for like 20 minutes? Are the front white lines RGB? Yes. No one's looking at your face. We're all just here for your beautiful voice. Okay. Well, I wasn't talking about looking at me as much as looking at the computer. Can't really see a whole lot from the top down camera. Ouch. Not a bad machine. It's my first build, actually. Really? That's cool. Fourth gen Intel. That's pretty old. Although I was cleaning um, my wife's grandmother's computer recently, and it's running a Intel, like, Celeron Core 2 Duo or something. Something ridiculously old. I was like, you still use, like, this thing still works? She's like, yeah. Running Windows Vista, I think. Couldn't believe it was still running. Come on, now he has a beautiful face, too. Thank you, Primal. Okay, she has to look at my face every day, so... Doesn't matter. Okay, so we got these guys set up like this. Nope. Oh, other way. These guys set up like this. Um, and this guy has that shape, so it's gonna go into one of these. Probably want to put it on that side. So, this way. And we will plug this in. These. Yeah, come back. Got one more of these to plug into. Um, the RGB can be shared, but this guy needs to get plugged into. There's pump fan, system fan, CPU fan there. Okay, like that. This guy is then gonna get plugged into here. And this guy is going to get plugged into the pump fan header. Alright, we should be good to go. I don't think we need this extension on here. It might make it easier to install. One of those must be your wife. Uh, yeah, uninterested spectator is my wife. Okay. Let's get these fans installed onto the radiator. Bee! I love the hype bee. It's awesome. In case you're wondering, she made that the name. I can't remember if she made that for Twitch originally or if it was for YouTube. But she kept the username so that she could join everything and be the uninterested spectator. Pretty great name. Very apt.
Who is it that has the generic pick username? I can't remember. I feel like they told me at one point and I forgot it already. Is all tightened up. Get this guy routed back here. So There we go. Getting really close. All the important stuff is done. Alrighty, that is good to go. Let's get figure out how this is gonna go. It's gonna have to go that way. I could go this way. I think that looks pretty cool.
Alrighty. That's gonna go just like that. All right, CPU cooler installed. Unceremonious peel. Let's do this stuff here. No, it is a name brand, but how's the case? Good quality. It seems pretty good quality. I mean, there's definitely like some features that I think would would be there if it was in um, if it was like a higher brand, like name brand case, like having USB C on the top and only USB three or better. But other than that, it's really like nice to have. Um, I could use a little more like soy sauce or oyster. It's not good. Wait, it's like two more bites. There's now. Got a tear come across the desk. <laughs> How dare she say it's not a bill or a eating stream? Every stream can be an eating stream if you want. <clears throat> I think I might want to use this other extension here. Um. We're gonna take this one fan down. Yeah, but overall, I'd say for the the cost of the the case, definitely definitely pretty good quality. Food breaks are always acceptable. See? Still conveniently ignore that part of the, the stream, though, I'm sure. 
All right. Got that disassembled. The back. Reassemble. Yeah. Oh yeah, Spart's always eating on stream. The Spart has a reason to eat on stream. He works out a ton. Spart's like a monster of a human. Who works out all the time. If he's not constantly fueling his body, he's gonna wither. I, on the other hand, will not. Okay. That's all good. We could route this same direction as the other cable. Send it out the back of the case, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, got it. And we'll connect that in this other cable. That is all set. Okay. So, it looks like a rat's nest back here, but it's really not so bad. Get those power supply cables out of the way. So really what I need to do here is daisy chain this in with the rest of our RGB that we've got going on. done. I think at this point we can do a little bit of cable management over here. Um, since those are going to go down that way. Got that up there. We've got one, two, one, two, three SATA power cables. Plug in. Let's do that real quick. Watching this makes me want to start another build. Do it. <clears throat> Just don't tell your wife. <laughs> Well, you're starting a PC building business and you can do it all the time. <laughs> okay. 
So this is going to power the RGB for the front. Ooh, those did not line up well, did they? There we go. Like, started pushing the pins out of there, so... Make sure those are fully seated again. Alright. So, everything there is connected up. I think at this point... I mean, we can do a little bit more cable management here. But too much more, and we're going to need the rest of our cables installed, like our power cables installed. <laughs> Get these cable ties from EBGA out. They're real nice. power supply here. Zeta. Zeta. What the heck? How did that happen? How did you get in there? Oh, okay, never mind. Everything's fine. CPU. CPU. Uh, VGA. So, are you going to need the chip, then start the build right after? Oh, we're going to start the, re the build right after. Because that's... I don't, I don't know. I don't want to have to, like, try and stop during the build and, like, eat something or drink something to survive. So hopefully, hopefully I can just go after it. Let's see if this thing takes two or three pin, eight pin cables. Looks like three. Looks like three. <clears throat> Yeah, I think there will be plenty of sweating it out, Alan. I don't think uh, I don't think I need to add to the misery. No, I have not done it before. <laughs> this is a completely new experience for me. Got this. Oh yeah, I got it. What do they consider perif? Like is Molex considered peripheral? Is that considered SATA? I mean it fits the SATA port. Perif and SATA are the exact same things on here. Seems okay. Breeze on PC build, which is fire. <laughs> Hopefully that wouldn't happen, but that would be pretty funny if it did. I mean, I said I was going to build that PC. I didn't say it was going to work. when it, Or I said I was going to give away that PC. I didn't say it was going to work when I gave it away, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting.
More info on chip. Um, what do you mean? Like, what is the chip? Like, what's in it? Look up P A Q U I. I think is the brand name. Yeah, P A Q U I one chip <laughs> challenge. That's what it is. All right, we got all of our GPU power cables over here out of the way. Let's get motherboard one installed. That's gonna go middle one. Middle there. Okay. Alright, motherboard cable is installed. Get our GPU cables out here. GPU power cable. Didn't Nerves eat the hot gummy bear or something a few months ago? Probably. I know uh, Jazzy did that too. He said it was pretty awful. Jazzy couldn't do the gummy or the the one chip challenge because he's allergic to like sunflower oil or something. Okay, so GPU power cables are all in there, through there. Um, I think let's just get the GPU in, and we can kind of pull those tight and cable manage stuff a little bit better. Um, like I said, we've got replacement cables coming in later today, so I'm not gonna really worry about cable management over the back at the moment because. We're gonna have to redo it. EJ, what's up, my guy? Dude, the rest of your stuff just showed up today. Um, we'll be building your PC early next week. It would be getting built on Friday, but we're doing that uh, one chip challenge plus the one dollar PC build on Friday. I think Nervous would be pretty funny to watch eating that, though. I don't know how well he takes heat, but he's just a pretty, pretty funny dude. Alright, 7900 XTX. Courtesy of Azrock. giant peel off the top here sounds dope dude i'm stoked yeah man it's gonna be awesome I'm excited all right giant peel off the top no way that's the only one you're not one of these fans no Yeah, looks like those fans do not have anything on them. Oh, it was really just the one? Okay. Cool. Love that. Too many people these days... Too many companies, I should say, these days use like a million pieces of plastic for quote-unquote protecting their stuff, and it just... 
Really annoying. Look at that. We got the, all the red themes and stuff, and even the GPU has a bunch of red on it. I love it. You love to see it. Hate red, but like this. Yeah. The two choices that I had for the themes of this build were red or was it um the tennessee tennessee um football or tennessee uh college university of tennessee the orange that they have and i was like yeah um red is something that i will be able to like find and be able to like kind of match around on the case like for the custom colors on the case I had tennessee orange i was like i don't know that i'll ever find something that will actually match up with what you want. <laughs> we went with red. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, that's it. This thing's ready to go. We're ready to fire this baby up. Um, obviously, if you just ignore the back for now, because we're going to have some replacement cables. But everything's plugged in. Everything's ready to go. So I think it's time. I think it's time we fire this baby up, then we show up. Uh, 30, 40 ish minutes late to our co stream with Right Tech. It does look pretty good. Volunteer Orange. Uh, Titus, this is for Thomas West. Or you recognize that name, Thomas? Or Titus? Alright. Get some fire emojis in the chat. Some fire emojis in the chat before we uh, start this baby up. Got some from Glenn and Andy over there. Got some from Diego. What's up, Diego? Go red. It's your birthday. So red it was, exactly. Wanted volunteer orange. Oh, is that really the name of the color? Volunteer orange? I didn't even know. Um, I mean, I knew what it was. I just didn't think I would be able to, like, match it, you know? I was worried I wouldn't be able to, like, actually find anything to match it. I need Oklahoma University colors. Fire, fire. All right, let's do this. Uh-oh. Sounds like we're hitting these uh, power cables. <laughs> yeah, we are a little bit. That's not the name, it's just the University of Tennessee Orange. Alright, try that again. 
Sans fan hitting. Hooray! Look at that. Level seven, let's go. You were so using your Beavis voice on this. My sister went there, I'm surrounded by UT fans. Sorry. Be real purdy though. Be real purdy. Just wait until all of that RGB is red. And wait until all these cables are red as well. It's gonna look really good. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all stare at this for a minute while I get ready to set up the co-stream with Ritech, okay? Cutting off this microphone. Couldn't hear that. All right, now you guys can hear me. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
<clears throat> What's up, Jackson? All right, we're going to call it on the Facebook and YouTube streams. If you're over on Facebook or YouTube right now, head on over to kick.com forward slash redneck engineer. Uh, the link is pinned in my stream on Facebook. Um, we are going to continue playing some Vidya games over on Kick. Enjoying the mouse pad you won't ever use. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out over on Facebook and YouTube. See you over on Kick.